let's begin. <laughs> I will teach you Tagalog like Salamat po. I already know. What is Salamat po? I already po? know Salamat po. Yeah. You know, it's like thank and you and then the respect. You know. You're welcome. Yeah, but uh, you, need, ano you need to teach me the other things so that I can converse with people when we go to the Philippines. Oh yeah. yeah. You will know someday, my love. Yeah. But step by step. Yeah, but you've been here six months and you've only taught me a little. Yeah, just like... <laughs> Magkano ito? What's that in English? That's how much? Saan? Saan means where. Okay. Yeah. But do you mean where is it? Or, yeah, where is it? Saan ito? To where? See, Saan means where? It's here, but they're covered in um, nettles so you can't get them. Oh. This one, friend, is so Makati. This one, oh. I keep warning her about them. Don't touch these, don't touch these. And then she keeps touching them. And then she's like, oh, well, you know, awry, awry. <laughs> I'm not expecting. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, babe, it, it swells up and goes red. Blackberry is there, friend. Blackberry is there. There's more that side. Yeah. yeah. But we've got nothing to put them in. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, this is an apple. Yeah. Friend, an apple, though. Yeah. It's a smaller apple, but it's well, no, not... They get, they get bigger, won't they? Huh? They get bigger. Uh, yeah. yeah. But this one is a true apple, my love, that one. I think so, but... Uh, no, I don't know much about it. It's probably a crab apple. Crab apple? Yeah, the crab apples only go small anyway. Ah, uh, that one. Crab apple. But... It, it could be angry. It's okay. But we can eat that one. No. Ah, it's a poisonous. No, it's not poisonous. It just doesn't taste very nice. Yeah. Okay. It'll, uh, it'll give you a bad stomach. Yeah. You know? Uh huh. Yeah, it'll give you a bad stomach. Ah. Okay. And some of the other apples you can pick, like the ones in my love. Wait. My sister's garden. So many oh blackberry. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. Well, like I say, the the blackberries tend to go where nettles are. Mm. You know, they grow together, but the thing is, if the nettles are there, they'll, you'll get sting. You have to pick the blackberries like before. Salamat po. Salamat po. <laughs> well, what is the English of saan ito? Saan ito? Um, where is it? Ah, uh, where is it? Yeah. And what's the English of magkano? Um, how much? Yeah. yeah. And then, walang anuman? Oh, thank you very much. Walang anuman means you're welcome. Oh, well. Okay? You still say the same thing though. <laughs> yeah, we'll go there, my love. Yeah. We'll go here, friend, huh? Mm -hmm. It's nice, the other one there, but it's, I think, it's, there is a... Uh, and there must be water there. Wet. See yeah. the reeds? It must yeah. be like a pond. Mm -hmm. Friend, it's a big here, big place, no? Yeah. To walk for the dog, friend. If you have a dog, and here maybe, friend, there is a pond. Yeah, somebody's, um, somebody's broke the fence. There's some more blackberries Where? here. Look, there's loads there. Look, nobody's seen them. Wow, oh, there's so many blackberries, spring, no? Yeah. So there's, uh, there's lots here. Yeah, yeah, it's a nobody's big. Nobody's seen them because shiny. They haven't come this way. Yeah. But uh, we haven't got a bag to put them in. We'll put in our pocket, my love. <laughs> no good. I, babe, I don't like to go there. Ui, ui, ui. <gasps> no. This is this is where the the foreigners bury the Filipinos. What? <laughs> this is where they bury the Filipinos. <laughs> Here. You know when you have your um your counselling before you leave the Philippines. <laughs> It's like, you know, you got to know where the, where the phone number for the um, embassy Yeah. Just, just in case your foreigner is going to bury you in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, so my, what do you call it, my love? My CFO? Yeah. CFO? Well, your ther not therapist, counsellor, isn't it? So, my counsellor friend, uh, she said to me before that you have to know, you have to research where is the Philippine Embassy in the UK? 
you have to know you have to you email me <laughs> where is the philippine embassy in the uk and uh, what's the telephone number in the uk the police police station in the uk you're in your place especially because foreigners uh we don't know their mind so you are the only one filipino there so so just in case <laughs> we're going to beat them or something like that you know ah <laughs> uh, no how, how I, many how many times have i hit you no <laughs> it's not i'm sorry because my husband is so very good to me he treat me well so good so i'm so happy and i'm so thankful yeah. i'm crying <laughs> <laughs> yeah just but like that so that's why so i, I trust you. you yet no you never shout so that's why friends so the cfo counselor she said to me that you have to email me like that where is the contact number of the police station because of what <laughs> what he wants to do you there like that because we don't know again we well, don't know obviously the in the foreigner. past something has happened to make them think that maybe the foreigners are horrible to Filipinos but um, obviously that's a small minority it's a bit like um, the opposite way around you yeah. get you get some Filipinos that scam foreigners but that's only a small minority but it makes it so that everybody thinks that all Filipinos are the same but it's only a small minority that scam but then the ones that scam are only doing it because they have no other means of getting money you know it's either you know try and get foreigners to send them money for a phone or whatever it is or they have to be a bar girl or something you know so it's their it's the only choice they have and maybe they have one or two children that they've got to try and feed and look after no but, but they, they they have no other means of getting getting money so if they email some foreigners and then say you know oh my phone is broken or my <laughs> my mum is in hospital or whatever it is i'm not like that I'm, I, not, I'm not, saying I'm you not are. asking you before I right just, i was just explaining yeah, I know. that sometimes people some. think that uh, filipinos are scammers yeah um no. but it's only a very small minority but obviously in the past you've had maybe i know of a, a couple of stories of americans that have beat their filipino or whatever yeah like i know i've um, heard that but obviously most sorry american <laughs> yeah not, foreigners. not just americans but um foreigners. but they're the ones the only ones i've heard of um yeah. but obviously most foreign men yeah. um have had a bad experience in their own country mm. so they decide to look in you know other countries for a woman for a wife yeah. Um, but if they're going to go through that whole process, why would you do all that, spend all that time, all that money, all that, you know, the hassle, the problems, the heartache, just to bring the woman to your country and then treat her badly? Yeah, you wouldn't. Like that. You know? So be nice, friend. <laughs> you know, be nice to a foreigner also. Yeah. Because if you treat them well, so they will treat you also. Like mm -hmm. that. So. Mm -hmm. That's why. <laughs> What's the name in my camera that be? Like we were talking <laughs> on the video the other day. Yeah. If you come to this country then and you work and you you pay taxes or you pay, you know, like a pension and things like that. Yeah. Later on in life you will be able to have money back from the country. So yes, you'll be able to have a pension that you'll be able to earn and take back to the Philippines when you're older. Yeah. It's nice your friend in the UK because uh, they are not uh they will not uh, especially for the aids if you are applying for a uh, work or a job uh they are not well, they, uh, they, um, for the aids yeah obviously in the philippines they want somebody who's 20 yeah like that they're young maybe 25 after 25 it's like you know oh well we want somebody you know younger, yeah like that you know but here so, it doesn't matter you know um, yeah, it, do it doesn't matter friend if what is you have yeah. so they will accept you if you get older you know sort of 55 yeah. 60 or whatever and you're trying to go for a new job then they may go for the younger person even though you've got lots of experience they may go for the younger person because the younger people are cheaper you know? yeah i know but here friends so i'm so lucky and i'm i am so thankful that i 
Matthew, my husband, <laughs> and he treat me well, good. So that's why, friend. So you have to be careful when you're choosing with a man, with your husband. So someday you will find a good man. So, so don't obviously stop. <laughs> the, the foreigner has had bad experiences in the past, yeah. probably. Nine times out of ten, they're divorced or they've yeah. had uh, a relationship that's gone wrong and then they realize that you know they just want to uh, uh, to draw a line under it a fresh start yeah and they look for someone who's foreign yeah. um, hopefully somebody who isn't going to you know kind of put themselves first mm -hmm. always you know yeah. and it'd be more equal you know so rather than a Western woman saying that you know they want to do this, you they want to do this, they want to do this, <laughs> and it's just kind of whatever they want and not what you want. It's not like a compromise of 50 50, it's just you're always doing everything that they want to do. Um, whereas now, you know, we mm. just kind of go, right, we're going to do this, and if we don't want to do it, then we decide to do something different. So so that's why so you have to choose your uh, man with a good heart good heart <laughs> and love loving person e even though I, I'm, a, I'm a bit big i've got a belly and things like that you know but still love you <laughs> <laughs> yeah friends so that's the good so you have to be good for our foreigners if you choose if you choose a man with a good you know good heart or maybe your companion so it's not too late to find a good man friend even if it's in the dating side so you <laughs> you have to choose oh, well we didn't, we didn't meet on a dating site did we where where we, we met it, well Hello? it wasn't a dating site was it it was a pen pal site yeah so we met in a pen pal site friend so yeah. he messaged he messaged me with a long message like a novel <laughs> Before I am interested with with the message that I I they sent me from especially from for foreigners I'm excited but before it's not really because there's so many scammers and uh, what do you call it the either dating site the dating site especially and and the uh, penpal especially also penpal site scammers everywhere yeah so i'm not excited so he sent me a message it's a novel message <laughs> so that's why because i am i was online before but he was not online when i am online well, it's all right it's, it's all right it's pointing this way yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so that's why friend so we met in a pen pal site so it was a pen pal site that you could tick boxes and say that you were interested in a relationship, yes. maybe. But uh, I've been a member of the pen pal site before, just emailing foreign people and just learning about their languages and learning about their countries and things like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wasn't really interested in looking for a relationship. But uh, I just decided one day to tick that I might be interested in a relationship because I've been single for a long time yes. and uh, I just thought well right okay we'll do that um, and then next thing I started looking and saw profiles of women from other countries I didn't know what Philippines people or women were like or Philippines people were like yeah. uh, if I'd have known okay. I'd have looked for a Filipino years ago uh, I was just looking on Asian sites, um, like, any like there was, you know, Chinese, Japanese, Thailand. Thai. Yeah. Um, I've seen documentaries in the past about Thai brides and Thais and things like that, you know. So um, I wasn't really interested in Thai as such because of the information that I found out that you kind of about the dowries and things like that. You know, I don't like the idea of the dowry. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So. I was looking more at just normal sites and no, no, more normal countries for women. Yeah. Uh, and then I just kind of came across your profile and I thought, well, I'll just send an email, you know. So. <laughs> but there in the uh, penpal site, friend, so you have to put what age you like. 
so you have to change what age you like so uh, for me it's just like i don't like too old <laughs> too old men so that's why i am juicy also <laughs> yeah because i'm hugely older than you aren't i <laughs> what i'm hugely older than you aren't I? no we, we only two years gap our age is only two years gap friends it's not bad <laughs> okay so what else yeah yeah because i'm 52 and you're 49 oh my gosh you rebuilt my my age <laughs> oh. yeah so we're not <laughs> no it's okay what? my love because i have you in my life <laughs> and you have me in your yeah, life yeah, so right? now that we're together and we're married you can you can let your looks go now can you yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah and that's why so uh we've met last what year oh was it about 2020 feels like about 10 years ago oh no <laughs> We met 2020 at the pandemic. Yeah, the COVID, wasn't it? COVID, so, friend, we met. Yeah. And the COVID, and then that was 2021. Two. We were talking, we started talking in November, wasn't it? Yeah, November 2020. And then the One. Phil Philippines yes. and I came over to see you at the end of March. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, March, no. mid, mid March, wasn't it? Was it mid March? Yeah, mid March, mid March 18. You were there. Yeah. In the Philippines, he so, visited me yeah. there. Basically, as soon as it was open, we could go. Uh, as soon as I could get time off, I came. Yeah, just like that, friend. So it's all together. Mm -hmm. He went there in the Philippines, March until April. So mm -hmm. we've been ma married April. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Only one, in, one in a go. Yeah. So well. We, we started talking in November, and then I came over in March. I came over, I brought everything that I needed to get married. Yeah, so all the requirements, friend. All the paperwork, all yes. the the, the doc, uh, divorce papers and birth certificates, and all the everything you needed to get married. And then I brought a ring, um, and then I brought clothes so that we could get married, <laughs> like a you know a suit sort of thing yeah uh, planned it all all on the internet everything that we had to do yes. researched everything and then came over and then we got married our first anniversary right last april this year it's 2023 yeah yeah just like that friend so we've been married 2022 of april and now february 2023 I am here now in the UK. Yeah. So it's so hard, friend, to process all the yeah, that's it, papers. Yeah. yeah. So it was you. Were, you were right. Twenty one and then twenty two. Yeah. yeah. So 2021. We've been married twenty twenty one and we've been married twenty twenty two. Yeah. And then twenty twenty three. I've been here in the UK this yeah. year. So, so yeah, you got February, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. So six months. Yeah. Yeah. I. Uh, I am here now six months in the and UK. You were here, what was it? Was it six weeks and you got your national insurance number? Yeah. And then you started work within seven weeks? Started work uh, last April this year. Yeah. I was here February this year and then April I started working. And then after three months, I have now a national insurance friend. So. And after, I, no, you're on about your pension. Not the national insurance. Yeah, well, your pension? national insurance, your your national insurance goes towards a state pension. Ah, okay. You know. Yeah, so I am now starting uh, to what it, contribute. Yeah, your pension contribution. My pension yeah. contribution starting this August. With your pension contribution, you pay money in. Yeah. Your employer pays money in, and then the yeah. government gives you a tax relief, which makes it up so it's around 10 percent i think yeah so yeah. so quick friend so, yeah. so you're already saving towards a pension yeah. <clears throat> and someday we will retire so soon someday in philippines retire yeah yeah so i've got to be 67 before i can retire so 
No, it's not really old. 15 years. 67, it's not really mm -hmm. old. Okay, my love? Yeah. Unless we, uh, you know, win the lottery or something like that, then <laughs> then we can retire earlier. <laughs> we, won, we won only five pounds in the lottery, in the scratch card. <laughs> but it's for fun, for the scratch card friends like that. So, yeah. We will continue here, walking. Yeah. My love, so... Yeah. Wait, um, we will introduce first our name. I am Emmy. And well, you are? So we've been talking for the last 15 minutes and we're going to introduce after. Yeah, okay. after. So we are Emmy and I'm Jeff. Yeah, we are Vickers couple. Okay, friends. See you later, friends. Well, let's continue our adventure. <laughs>